Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. As you know, G.I. Joe has made a comeback. G.I. Joe! There's enough of that. Now, I want to show you the ATM. This is my G.I. Joe ATM. Well, you probably know it best as the Armadillo, but I call it the Armadillo Teller Machine because anytime I need cash for my tanks, I go right to the ATM and make a withdrawal. Now, it could be anywhere from 25 to two, you know, 250,000 silver. This thing is a butt kicker. So the, the question is, should you buy an armadillo? Well, there's several parts of this question that have to be addressed before you can make your final decision. First question is, can you afford it? Well, and that's a legitimate question. If you have the ability, the wherewithal, to have 11,630, I think is what it is, gold to buy this tank. This tank is awesome. But it's only awesome if you are a really good light tank player. If you're a good light tank player, it's going to be good. But the better you are, the higher the results you're going to get, you know, from time to time. But this thing is just a terrific money-making tank. Let's look at, this, at the stats, shall we? Now, here's another thing. This is not a G.I. Joe commander. This commander is one of the regular World of Tanks three-star commanders, Butch Allen. All right, I'll show you him. So let's go to the commander tab. Now let me go to full screen. And that way it'll be easier. Whoa, what happened to my screen? All right. Now let me show you. Whoops, commanders. Here we go. We scroll down here to recruit commander. And we're going to scroll down here. Oh, he's right there in the second one. Major Butch Allen. Now, this guy is not a, quote, G.I. Joe commander. But to me, he fits the G.I. Joe superhero mode kind of cartoon character persona better than the ones that they made for the most part. Now, some of those other ones are really good, like Cobra Commander, the Baroness. Those look fantastic. But I was disappointed with the Joes. I thought the Joes were pretty weak. I like Roadblock, but I don't like this version of Roadblock. It just looks kind of wrong. I don't like that vest. It's just It just seems wrong. I'm sorry. Deathstro, I mean, eh, he's all right. This Duke is terrible. That just, just seems wrong to me. Scarlet, okay. The Baroness looks pretty cool. But anyway, you can get the the Butch Allen if you want to get him down the road. He's There's no embargo on him, so you can pick him up any time. But he looks, he looks like he fits the G.I. Joe mode. All right, anyway, so that's the deal with the commander. Now, let's look at this dude, shall we? This is... A 16 shot auto loader you can use premiums I hardly ever use premiums because it's an actually a good gun uh, era 2 very good and the thing is you can configure this in a couple of different ways maybe I go for the quick strike speed attack which means I use traction engine Spall liner, which is, you know, good for protecting your crew. And a stabilizer for the guns. Which seems odd. Because it's a short barrel gun. And it's a relatively short range gun. But it actually works pretty well when you're standing still. Sniper-ish. 
not 100%, but it, it works out to a good distance with the stabilizer. If you want to do it differently, I've seen guys who did this with the speed, a camo net, and maybe advanced optics. Uh, you know, this is more of a ambush predator. Tomato, tomato, whatever floats your boat. But I've seen awesome scores in both techniques. I mean, you can mix it up and do whatever floats your boat, really. You do have some extra options. This vent here would serve to slightly reduce the reload. But the reload on this is not very, it's not bad. Okay. It's not a bad, doesn't have a bad reload. If you look at this dude... The reload time is 15.4, which is pretty good for a 16-shot autoloader. It doesn't really uh, take too long, like some of the autoloaders take too long. You're like, oh, you're waiting forever, right? This one's very fair. You know, tremendous. It's a tremendous vehicle. This is the fastest light tank I have seen in Era 2. Mine, as you can see, rolls at an even 100. Now, my Era 1 FV107 Scimitar light tank goes 107. It goes faster than this. It's, but this one is the fastest of the Era 2s that I have seen. It is an awesome vehicle. Very wide track spacing which makes it harder to flip than normal which is good and also it has a relatively low profile it's a pain to shoot it's hard to shoot this guy you know if you drive like a drunkard weaving left and right you're in good shape so i have game action for you that was pretty awesome and it will give you a better way to evaluate this so let me see what I have for you welcome to Kazarine one of the things you'll notice about the armadillo is that it does not have any camouflage capabilities you have one skin and it's the G.I. Joe colors which is fine with me don't be stupid. It's painful if you fall off that bridge. This guy in third person reminds me a lot of a shark. Patrolling the water, waiting for its, you know, looking for its next victim. This is a vicious little monster. Hurry up, slow poke. I'm pushing him. I roll at 100, making me the fastest guy on this team. So, as the fastest guy on this team, I assume the role of responsibility in base defense. That's how I work. So I'm constantly keeping tabs on my base. Because as the fastest guy, I'll be able to get back first. If there's somebody else with me, I'm gone. One of the things that's nice about this Kazarine map, you can go in this, you know, in this uh, canyon with relative safety. This guy is in trouble big time. This light tank is who I'm going after. We've got a double team on this guy. We'll kill him and then possibly kill the next guy. And a couple of magazines. Eat this. Oh. BMP in trouble? Now. In the actual game, I wasn't looking at him. 
I'm I'm watching the driving. I'm looking out here so I don't go into the canyon, etc. The gun, I leave the gun on so it's tracking him. I always know where he is because the gun points to where the victim is located. Tag me, you jerk. Yeah, that's okay. I have a repair for just such an occasion. And the BMP is toast. So long, chump. We're doing quite well early. Fresh meat for the grinder. The trick with the armadillo, do a drive-by. Don't stop. Keep going. Just zip right on by and wait for your reload. Turn around, come back, and do it again. Now he's trying to hide by the rock so I can't go around him, but that's okay. I am not an amateur. Here I can stop the rock is blocking him, but normally you don't stop and turn around like I did. That's a bad idea in general. This is a specific choice. Ha 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 ha! Drive into the rock, jerk. Notice the weave. <laughs> Freak. Again, my gun is tracking him. So I know where he's located. He's not going to sneak up on me. Secret from the pros, the shooter McGavin would say. Eat this. Nah. Unfortunately, I didn't see this other guy was coming up over here. Run away? Well... Okay, I didn't quite make it, but look, we have a five we have a five man advantage. We're in good shape. I had a very good game, which you'll see in a couple minutes. This game did not last very long. I was laying down the beings by myself. And the other guys were doing the same thing in their areas. That, that uh, armadillo was just terrific. I didn't see that guy coming up. I was so concentrated on my victim. Hey, mistakes were made. But I dealt a tremendous amount of damage. Where's he going after this guy? That's a light tank over there, and the last guy. Fantastic. That is a T-55 Enigma. I hope you have this tank, it's very good. Awesome. Victory! Hey, I told you I had a very good game. There I am in third place with one kill. But it went quite well, I'm telling you. But you were there, you saw it. Now let me show you. This is the end of match result. So, this was, I'd say, slightly better than average. A little, a little bit better than average. It was a very good game. 172,000 silver. I told you it's an ATM. I really cashed in on this one. So this is an example. Look at that. Assist damage 2300. That's why I got third place. My 3190 was a, was a, is a solid... Just, you know, damage number. But I'm not third overall bomb off of my damage. It's that killer assist damage combined with the damage that put me ahead of other guys. So this is one of the things the 
Armadillo is a terrific assist damage light tank. Just absolutely phenomenal. It's also partially the guy driving it, but it's it's great because low profile, you can zip in to areas and you're hard to shoot. It's really annoying. I'm telling you, this guy is very annoying and that's why it's awesome. So the thing is, can you afford this tank? If you can afford it, then in my mind, if you can afford the gold price, then how can you not afford it? I mean, how could you afford not to have it? You see what I did, bing, bang, boom, like, you know, just, what was this, uh, almost six minutes, 170,000. Now that, that's above average. Average for me usually runs about 100 grand, 80,000 plus or minus, okay? 80, 80 to 100, you know, maybe 110, something like that. It'll depend. Now this was also no bonuses, no commander bonus, no no bonuses, no silver bonus. This is no bonus. This is no daily double. This is just a regular match that you won. Bamo third place, 172,000. Highest I've gotten probably regular like that, 250 or 260,000. But this dude, man, you can run this for you run this for a couple hours. You make a couple million, basically. You can make about a million an hour on the uh, Wolver of uh, Armadillo. So, if you can afford the gold price, it's worth getting. The, the better you are, the more you enjoy playing light tanks, the better you're going to do in this tank. Um, I got to think about this for a second. This is my favorite light tank to play because the silver bonus is just awesome. As you have seen. That's 155, so it's a 55% silver bonus with a 15% commander bonus. And that's why I have a three-star commander in there is because this thing he is a uh, becomes 160 it's a 65 percent bonus commander experience as well as 55 percent silver bonus that's why i make a lot of money in this tank so i would say that the overall experience for myself in the armadillo this is my best and most fun light tank to play I have some other really great ones as well. The 101 Scorpion, the 107 Scimitar, the Scorpion 90 is another great one. I have a bunch of other good World War II light tanks. This is number one. It's that awesome. So if you're a good light tank player, it, it's almost a must have. It's, it's that good, but it's gonna cost you. But believe me, you're going to get your money's worth and then some. This thing is a silver-making monster. So, what else can I say? Would you? Would, would I suggest you buy it? Yes, I would. And I normally would say don't buy 10,000 plus gold tanks. That's my, you know, default position. Now this is a special. This is a special condition because this tank is disappearing. It's gonna be gone. I thought when I got it, that was the last chance to get it, which was November. I thought, that's it, they're gone. The Wolverine comes back and I'm like, man, I probably should buy it. So I'm still struggling with the, the Wolverine I know is good. It's like, man, dude, this is such a, it's such a crusher. It's such a crusher that I'm thinking of getting the Wolverine myself even though I really don't need it. But it just seems like an awesome tank. I got to talk to my friend. He's got one. So this Armadillo, if I had to cut my game down to 10 total tanks, you know, sell them back for what I paid. All right. Let's just say I get all every, whatever I paid for, I get that back full value. This is one of the 10 I keep. It's that good. This is one of the 10 tanks I would keep. It's a scorer. 
the thing that you saw at the end of this game is this is this and I say this to uh, many people I've talked to the the armadillo is so good to me that every time I get in a match I'm a legitimate contender for MVP that's how good this tank is in my hands I didn't have really much more than an average or slightly above average game you saw I got third place if I'm on yeah I'm getting better than third place I'm just gonna tell you that right now this thing is an awesome tank it's a very good it's a good match for me and that's the thing if this is a good match for you this thing is just phenomenal if you're a good light tank player you're gonna do well it's just you know it's up to you but if you're not a, if you're not a good light tank player you don't like the the, the you can't it, some people just don't like the fragile fragility of this tank it's not this tank isn't very fragile relatively speaking but all light tanks are fragile so that's the thing if that bothers you maybe this isn't for you you know but I wouldn't say well you know I've never played much light tank I think I'm gonna get me an armadillo that could be an expensive mistake you need to practice light tanks and just go well if you're you know prepared to be a light tank guy then this is one of the best if not the best in the game for me so thanks for watching the video I hope that I have helped you with this review of this awesome tank because to me this is an awesome tank Please like the video, subscribe, tell your friends. This will help me out a lot. And I'll get other people to see my videos. And maybe they'll subscribe as well. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching.